and a pleasant one. But it isn't, it can't be, and it never will be a blessed situation. Whilst our women and girls continue to be abused wherever they may find themselves, on the streets, in the workplace, and in that place that should be a haven, that place called home. We know this because many of us have experienced it, and it also supports and continue to support the many studies which confirm this situation. We know of and we see the various forms of abusive denigration, exploitation, and outward disrespect and disregard, which continue to haunt many women and girls throughout their lifetime. The statistic is one in three. Although many people may not believe this startling statistic, and worse, many think that it is inevitable. Well, today we are saying once again that this physical, sexual, and emotional abuse should not be inevitable should not become normalized to the point of being ignored and tolerated and that's the way it is. We cannot as a small island developing state continue to reel from the effects of this social disease afflicting women and children affecting their physical and mental health across their entire life.